Hey guys, welcome to Inspire Chemistry and I hope everybody is doing good in uh, uh, in their respective homes and I really wish this uh, situation ends as soon as possible. So I'm here to inform you about your uh, counseling with uh, for IIT Jam 2020 which has begun and it consists of three rounds so you have to uh, give your preferences for your IITs and uh, starting with the procedure uh, yeah, what happens is that you give a list of uh, IITs based upon your preference like 1 to 10 first I want to go to IIT Bombay then Delhi then if not then Kanpur then like several of them in the order so what happens is that you will be allotted an IIT starting from the first IIT preference you give like uh, let's say you have a rank of 220 all India rank of 220. Now you given your preference like IIT uh, Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Kanpur, IIT Madras. So they'll check, for, they'll start uh, to allot you IIT based upon your rank from the very first IIT preference you have given. Okay. So they'll see, okay, this guy is not getting IIT Bombay, this guy is not getting uh, Delhi, this guy is getting Kanpur. Okay. So they'll give you a IIT based upon your rank. Now this is in the first counselor. Okay. So you get, got an IIT Kanpur. So what happens is the IIT below it like all the rest of IITs like after 3, 4, 5 they will all be eliminated so either you can do is that uh, what you can do is you can stick to this IIT which is the third IIT or you can go for upgrade so now you will be upgraded to second or first IIT preference not the uh, other ones those are already eliminated okay so what I will tell you is that always go for upgradation because they will ask you some 10,000 rupees uh, the, in 2019 it's what, it was 10,000 rupees okay so they will ask you for a certain amount of money Usually it's 10,000 for allocation of your uh, uh, seat. So they'll, uh, 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 what happens is that if you go for upgradation, you have to pay 10,000. Even if you freeze, you, then you also you have to pay uh, the same money. So it's better to go for upgrade. And usually uh, by the third counseling, you'll get an upgraded IIT. So don't lose hope, always go for upgradation. And even if you don't get an upgraded IIT and if you take out uh, that I want to go to certain ICERs or something, your money will be refunded. Like if you pay 10,000, they'll refund 9,000 back to you after a few months of IIT counseling. So it's almost always, always worth to join the counseling for your dream IIT. Okay, so let's start the IIT preferences. And uh, before that, I want you to be very clear if you want to uh, pursue MSc alone or you want to pursue MSc PhD in the future. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, if you uh, if you're clear about that, then uh, you are either a MSc focused uh, person who want to go to some... Uh, uh, who want to crack gate or join some uh, uh, teaching institute or if you are uh, pursuing your PhD you're definitely going to be a professor or some res uh, great researcher so you have to uh, be clear about that so let's start with the IIT preferences okay so uh, I'm telling you the IIT preferences and the same order you should fill in the uh, preference list which is being uh, given to you so first is of course IIT Bombay because it's excellent for its MSc and research it's even better uh, in research count as compared to IIT Delhi and it has an extended and excellent uh, network alumni that it will uh, like uh, the alumni will uh, the, uh, the alumni of this IIT are extremely helpful and they'll help you uh, find your PhD and postdocs within the country and as well out uh, as well as outside the country okay second is of course IIT Delhi uh, IIT Delhi is excellent for MSc and course work and uh, besides this then uh, in IIT almost uh, uh, other coaching all other coaching centers are located in IIT Delhi so even if you want if you say I want to pursue IAS after uh, doing my MSc you can do that you can take coaching you can take coaching for your grade and you'll have a lot of ample time and other opportunities in the city okay so that's why it's uh, IIT Delhi is second third is IIT Kanpur so if you ask me which uh, which IIT has the best uh, uh, department uh, in terms of physical and organic so IIT Kanpur certainly tops this list and they have a extremely extremely good physical chemist and inorganic professors so those who want to do your uh, MSc project under physical chemist or inorganic chemist they should go for IIT Kanpur which is your third preference fourth is of course IIT Madras which was just uh, 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 it's an excellent IIT and uh, declared the Institute of Eminence uh, and it has like more collaboration, global collaboration and administrative powers than other IITs. So it's your fourth preference, IIT Madras. Fifth preference depends, uh, uh, fifth preference can be IIT Roorkee or IIT Kharagpur. Although IIT Kharagpur is relatively more prestigious one, but it's seen that they're, they're, losing, the, they're losing their charm in uh, uh, the coming years, uh, the last year. So it totally depends on you if you want to go to IIT Roorkee or IIT Kharagpur. They are almost, almost equivalent in terms of professors. Professor, I've seen all the uh, profiles of professors in every institute and I've already taken the input from the students who have been 
studying in these IITs. Okay, so IIT Roorkee and IIT Kharagpur uh, are almost equivalent. Then sixth is IIT Guwahati. IIT Guwahati, if you uh, ask me, the excellent uh, IIT Guwahati has the best research count in among all the IITs. Like the prestigious one, the very new ones, the moderate ones, they have excellent, excellent uh, uh, research output in terms of research papers and the quality of research, the impact factors in the journals. So IIT Guwahati is excellent place to uh, for those people who want to do uh, your uh, master's uh, uh, dissertation and uh, uh, a researching a good research uh, professor. Uh, IIT Guwahati is the place which was your sixth preference. Now IIT Hyderabad is your seventh preference because they have excellent uh, uh, collaborations with uh, Japan and they have a good infrastructure and coursework. Besides this, uh, you can go for like, uh, uh, other than that, uh, the collaborations outside like Japan, uh, you'll uh, be able to find your uh, PhD, uh, like you have to arrange for references to go for PhD, okay? So Japan is a place you can go through this IIT more easily as compared to other IITs because it's a collaborative institute with IIT Japan. Uh, sorry, uh, IIT, this IIT is collaborating with Japan government. Okay. And uh, the eighth preference will be IIT Gandhinagar. It's an emerging IIT and they have a, although the department is relatively, uh, 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 it contains less number of professors as compared to other IITs. And, but it's an emerging IIT and uh, they're doing potentially uh, good. And they've been uh, in the headlines for their uh, innovative uh, ideas and research for uh, last two or three years if you look at it and then your ninth preference will be IIT Bhubaneswar because uh, IIT Bhubaneswar if you look at the department they have a uh, they have the professors profile which are really really diverse like uh, in some IITs they have professors from the uh, the professors research is focused mainly on uh, catalysis or organometallic chemistry but if you look at IIT Bhubaneswar, they have a diverse, uh, like diverse research department. Like somebody is from inorganic doing uh, some. Some people are doing quantum physics, quantum physics and chemistry. Some people are doing organic. So it has a diverse or uh, uh, diverse research option if you want to join. Okay, so that's your uh, ninth IIT, IIT Bhubaneswar. Tenth is your IIT Indore. Again, IIT Indore is in collaboration with uh, uh, Higher Education Germany and. A uh, lot of people there get actually uh, opportunity to uh, uh, join their PhDs and project works in Germany because IIT Indore has an extremely good collaboration with Germany. Okay, so uh, those who want to go to Germany, they can actually prefer IIT Indore, and it's a beautiful uh, city to uh, live in. It's the most clean city, and uh, nobody will feel any kind of uh, problem in their food because it's a diverse place. Okay, so that was your 10th uh, preference. 11th is IIT Roper. Okay, IIT Roper or IIT Mandi. So that, uh, that totally depends on you if you want to keep your IIT Roper or IIT Mandi on the 11th place. But uh, 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 as far as I, I've seen the profiles in the professor, they're almost equivalent. And the best thing about IIT Mandi is that uh, they're better in case of research output than uh, IIT Roper and uh, other than that you must have heard about theoretical chemistry like uh, uh, you have to collaborate with theoretical physics to explain certain quantum properties and other things besides that there are something called theoretical organic chemistry you can predict the molecules in the uh, organic reaction you can predict the mechanism and all through computers and simulations so this if you ask me the best department to go in for your theoretical chemistry is the IIT Mandi of course and the 12th preference is uh, the IIT BHU. So uh, the thing about IIT BHU, you should remember that it was actually a, a engineering institute rather than a, a natural sciences institute, which is a physics, chemistry, maths and something. But because it's, it is related to Banaras Hindu University, it's of extremely uh, good potential in case of coursework. So IIT BHU has a good coursework. But it's mostly focused on this uh, industrial chemistry, which includes mining, metallurgy, because the earlier department, uh, the uh, uh, this engineering institute in BHU uh, used to offer some chemistry, uh, chemistry engineering, uh, chemical engineering, which contains usually this metallurgy and all. And then uh, later it was converted to later it was it was converted to the IIT. OK. Till now, we have completed till IIT BHU, which was your 12th preferences. Uh, which was your 12th preference then comes the relatively new departments uh, which are IIT Jodhpur 
थर्टीन विल बी आई टी जोधपुर देन आई आई टी पटना देन आई टी धनबाद देन आई टी पलक्कर सो फॉर दोज पीपल हु हैव स्कोर्ड अ रैंक ऑफ फोर बिटवीन फोर हंड्रेड टू फाइव हंड्रेड आई वॉन्ट यू आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज टू जॉइन द रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट और सम प्रेस्टिजियस सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज एक्ट कंपेयर टू दीज न्यू आई आई टीज एंड जस्ट इन केस यू वॉन्ट टू बी आई आई टी एंस इट्स फाइन यू कैन फॉर द सेक ऑफ फिलिंग द प्रेफरेंसेज प्लीज फिल द प्रेफरेंसेज लाइक आई आई टी जोधपुर इज योर थर्टीन आई आई टी आई आई टी पटना इज योर फोर्टीन आई आई टी आई टी धनबाद इज योर इज योर फिफ्टीन आई आई टी एंड आई आई टी पलक्ट पलक्कर इज योर सिक्सटीन आई आई टी सो रादर दैन ज्वाइनिंग द लास्ट फोर आई आई टीज यू शुड गो हैव प्रेफरेंसेज फॉर गोइंग टू सम रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट लाइक आई सर आई एस सी जे एन सी एस आर एंड टी आई एफ आर एंड अदर सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड माई फॉलोइंग आई डिलीवर वीडियो टू यू वेरी सोन अबाउट दिस for uh, regarding the people who are getting rank and you, your probability of getting selected into uh, these research institutes and uh, so that's all about the ranking and uh, once again i am naming the ranking from starting and i'll also post this list in the description box uh, uh, below so you can download and see the preference if it is not clear to you so first is iit bombay second is iit delhi third is iit kanpur fourth is iit madras Fifth is fifth can be IIT Roorkee or Kharagpur. Sixth can that means like if fifth uh, your fifth preference is IIT Roorkee, sixth preference will be Kharagpur and seventh will be Guwahati. So like fifth preference could could be Roorkee or Kharagpur. Sixth is Guwahati. Seventh is IIT Hyderabad. Eighth is IIT Gandhi Nagar. Ninth is IIT Bhubaneswar. Tenth is IIT Indore. Eleventh is IIT Roorkee or IIT Mandi. Twelfth uh, is IIT BHU. and after that uh, the less prestigious like related very very new iits uh, which i would uh, personally won't prefer are iit jodhpur as 13th 14th is iit patna 15th is iit dhanbad and 16th is iit palakkad so that was the list so please fill the iit in this order only uh, have, uh, uh, the reason i'm asking you to fill this in uh, in this particular order is because uh believe me i've checked all those pro- uh, professors profile who are teaching in the uh, who are professors in these iits i've looked at the research count of each iit other than that i have uh, i've taken uh, i've talked to most of the student into these iits and asked them about the course work and uh, uh, for those who uh, you have con- uh, actually i was little short in time so i have to be a uh, relative i have to be quick uh, in this video so uh, those you have and uh, those uh, if you those people if you have any questions uh, please post it in the description box we'll uh, definitely uh, try to answer you as soon as possible so uh, the list i'm giving is like the most trusted as uh, because it contains the output of students output of uh, professors profile output of research activities and other i've also listed your other other opportunities uh uh associated with each iit so uh, i think that should make this i uh, the preference clear and i hope you guys stay in your good health and uh, please uh, stay tuned i'll be bringing more videos regarding this iit preferences and uh, other uh, research institutes so that's all for today thank you